Hey guys! So today is the last video in my Wet n Wild Zodiac Collection series. We are doing the water element and this is what the palette looks like, the eyeshadow palette. And this is the highlighter. I am going to insert a clip of swatches. I cropped the photo a little bit too much and I don't have time to redo it so you'll be able to see most of the swatches so here it is. Okay so per usual I have already applied lip balm, face primer, foundation, and setting powder and today I'm going to start with face contour. This is Colormate's, let's get the name right, Multi Cream Stick in Medium. I found this at Big Lots. This is super creamy, really inexpensive, makes a great contour. I love cream contours. This is the brush that I used for my foundation. Simple as that. I feel like cream contours just blend a lot easier and look more natural than powder contours. Okay, for a blush today, I'm going to use Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Fantastic Plastic Pink. This is so pretty. Those Don't be intimidated by those um, sparkles because they don't really translate onto the cheeks. And I'm going to use the same brush because I find that when I just keep using that same brush for the face products, by the way, this is a Real Techniques um, what is this called? Buffing brush. When I use the same brush, it merges with the products better. See how that just merged with the contour? Oh, I think I picked up a little bit too much product there. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, this is a Wet n Wild Kabuki brush. This is what I used for my setting powder. So I'm going to take whatever powder residue is left and buff that area where there was too much product. Fixed. Okay, next is going to be... Let's uh, let's do the bronzer next. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Light Bronze, AOA Studio F11 brush. I was thinking, you guys, about this month instead of doing a makeup beauty favorites for July. I was thinking about doing a non-beauty favorites because I have so many things that I've been loving that has nothing to do with makeup. Everything from books, TV shows, movies, music, um, hobbies, so many things. And, you know, I thought it might give you a little bit more insight into who I am. So... Tell me what you think about that idea. You know, not not talk because the video would take up um, the the things that I'm talking about would take up a whole video. I wouldn't be able to include any makeup. Or would you rather see a makeup favorites? You can let me know. All right, let's go with this highlighting powder. God, that is so pretty. Wet n Wild highlighting brush from the Fire Dragon vs. Ice Dragon collection. When this comes out, you guys, there's only going to be two of these on each display. 
so you would have to act quickly or when it shows up on the website I highly highly recommend this is my favorite thing from that collection Woohoo! Wow is that blue <laughs> whoa oh we're gonna have to blend this really well Okay, that's better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it looks kind of pretty with the pink, the really pink blush. I, I knew that was going to be a, a pretty combo. Okay, I think I'll do my brows and then come back. Okay, so I just filled in my brows with the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Palette in Matterific. And I used that shade right there. And then I primed my eyes, primed my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Alright, let's dig into this eyeshadow palette. Starting with the e.l.f. contour brush. I'm going to go into this bright, almost luminous white. Hmm, it's not showing up on camera the way I'm seeing it in reality. So let's add just a little bit more. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm going to go back into that LA Colors matte eyeshadow quad that I just showed you. And I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Fluffy brush into that same eyeshadow that I used to fill in my brows. And I'm going to do this as my transition shade today. All right, let's go back into the eyeshadow palette now. And this shade right here is sort of a beige color. And normally I would use a matte eyeshadow in the crease. You don't have to do that. There is no hard and fast rule that says that. So occasionally I do like to use a shimmer shade in the crease. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick up some of that beige shade with this Wet n Wild F, no, P15 brush. The print is very small. This is from their Pro line. And we're going to do that in the crease, right at the base of that transition. Pick up a little more and do the other side. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with this MAC 239 brush and I'm going to go into this silver shade and put that on the inner third, I would say, of my lids. Okay, I'm going to flip that brush over and go into this green shade. And put that in the outer two thirds of my lid, lids. Now, once I get near that silver, I'm going to blend it extra. I'm going to flip the brush back over, go back into the silver, just add a little bit between where I put the silver before and where that green ends. And just, you know, blend it a little more so that the colors merge a little better. Like that. All right. Now, when I used, okay, no, never mind that. <laughs> uh, Morphe M514 brush with that blue. And this is a pretty, pretty dark blue, so we're just gonna lightly tap our brush in there, and we're gonna go right in the outer outer uh, V section here and sort of brush it down onto the edge of the lid and blend it into this outer corner area. Okay, and there is a brown in this palette that we're going to use in a minute, but first we're going to use this brown eyeliner by Essence in Hot Chocolate. Okay, small Zoeva pencil brush into that brown and smudge that right into that eyeliner.
Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara off camera to save some time. And that is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Heaviest mascara container. <laughs> and this is the mini. I can imagine how heavy the full size would be. Oh, this is so nice. Check out those lashes with this mascara. Beautiful. Okay. What is left? Lips, Color Mates, Nude, Lip Liner. Just lining, not filling. And I finally got around to picking up one of the new Maybelline Shine lipsticks. This is number 75, Undressed Pink. What do I think? I like the L'Oreal ones better. Of course, the L'Oreal ones are more expensive, but I like the formula on the L'Oreal ones better. This is okay, but the L'Oreal ones are really, really nice. So that's my two cent review or two second review on that. So that is the finished look. That This is my water look from the Wet n Wild Zodiac collection. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.